microop interpreter. Building the future of work has to be cost effective and efficient, transforming the future into today's reality. The essence of this entry is about the architecture that can expand the reach of Citrix microapps into a broader range of use cases by serving as an interpreter for RESTful interfaces, thus simplifying adoption of microapps and Citrix connected ecosystems. Microapp interpreter demonstration is conducted with arguably one of the most difficult integrations using Citrix Connect appliance bridged to the non-RESTful interfaces for the on-premise system of record. To illustrate the universal applicability of this approach, a robust and sophisticated system of record was selected, namely Citrix Hypervisor, otherwise known as Zensor. Microapp interpreter consists out of two parts, SSL TLS bridge on one hand and low-code application proxy on another. Citrix Microapp infrastructure interfaces application proxy via REST interfaces through SSL TLS bridge via port 443, with further communications forwarded by the app proxy back to the SSL TLS bridge on a port dedicated to the desired system of record thus hiding complexities of the physical topologies from both microapps and application proxy. SSL TLS bridge, on the other hand, while aware of physical topology, does not have the visibility into the pass-through traffic, which is always SSL TLS encrypted, making the system more secure. This approach can dramatically reduce the count of the fully certified SSL certificates needed as well as allow to control the number of microapps dealing with a single system of record or multiple systems of record, providing the end user with a seamless experience hiding the complexities of the aggregate interactions and systems involved. This approach also allows for separation of duties due to the abstraction of microapp, application proxy and system of record for both developer and infrastructure teams. Now let's go to the demo. Authentication to Citrix Hypervisor is simple. Provide parameters per JSON RPC standards, and as long as you authenticate with proper credentials, you are in. However, these standards are not based on the name value pairs that micro apps are comfortable with. This is the first time micro app interpreter in the form of application proxy steps in, formatting requests in a REST compliant JSON. Once session identification token is received, one can continue interfacing with Citrix hypervisor via JSON RPC requests. And while some of the responses are immediately compatible with microapps, some other responses are represented with nested JSON objects, which are rivaling Russian dolls in complexity that we have to deal with. This is where microapp interpreter can flatten the otherwise nested object structure and return rest tune payload for micro app consumption. Along these lines, uh, another example, when we do need to provide micro apps with a compatible timestamp format deriving from incompatible POSIX, we can easily do so prior to returning our response, choosing one of the many supported formats, for example, ISO timestamp. If we do need to filter virtual machines per user and that ownership can be provided via Citrix Cloud connectors over PowerShell requests, we can easily do that by gaining unique machine identifiers via PowerShell interfaces Citrix VDC infrastructure and subsequent machine filtering of the Citrix hypervisor query by matching unique identifiers. As the result, we can provide Citrix applications and desktops users with the abilities to control the power state of their own virtual machines take snapshots of the disk or even the machine's current state, including memory, ability to revert back while never requiring direct knowledge or access to the underlying infrastructure. This is where let users help themselves mantra can become a reality, easily adding functionality based on the user role with little code or infrastructure effort, relying on the unison of the existing systems of record doing the heavy lifting. Thank you.